All right, let's talk about white grapefruit today. So white grapefruit gets its name from the color of its peel. Now, I can't tell really over here. I can certainly tell the difference in the color of the flesh, but this is a little bit lighter, but I wouldn't count it as white. Um, but that's what the research says is that it's, um, that the peel is, is white. Um, and it's got a very similar chemistry to the other grapefruits. It's not um, quite as sweet as the pink grapefruit, but it is really citrusy. And so it's uplifting and just a happy thing. Um, it's high in limonene and we get the oil by um, the peel being cold, cold pressed. So it's not steam distilled like some of the other ones. Um, there, okay. I was gonna go, okay, now come on. Why is this not working the way it's supposed to? Okay, so the, from the emotional benefits of white grapefruit, it is the oil of divinity. So it can give us an energy boost. It can help boost your self-esteem and your self-confidence. It gives you the energy and confidence to finish and succeed with challenging tasks. You get into the middle of a project and it just becomes so overwhelming that you just think, oh, I just can't finish that. I hope I'm not the only one that's felt like that, felt like that because I do. So white grapefruit can help you, you know, get through that. It invites in white light and helps individuals become aware of their spiritual gifts and of just the, the goodness and greatness and value of our souls. And that's a really important thing uh, to remember. It helps remind us why we're here and our purpose on earth. You can use it with meditation to work out what direction you want to go in life. Do you ever have times where you're wondering, okay, you know, do I want to do this? Do I want to, you know, where do I want to go? Where should I be headed and stuff? And then it will also help you connect with your inner God or goddess. I think, I think we tend to forget, depending on circumstances and stuff, we tend to forget that we really do have a lot of greatness within us. I was just talking to a friend last night and he had just really, there was a time a couple of weeks ago where he just was really thinking, does God know I'm here? Is, am I worth anything? That kind of a feeling. White grapefruit would have helped him. Um, so some of the, no, that's not the one I wanted to go to yet. So some of the benefits of white grapefruit, it can be used aromatically, topically, or internally. A lot of people love putting it in their water. Um, it is uplifting. It is great to diffuse in the morning when you're trying to get ready to take on the day. Um, it is great to diffuse in the afternoon when you're starting to have, Wellen calls them a sinker spell, when you're just starting to wilt and, and, and just, you know, fade. Then diffuse white grapefruit and it will... Uh, give you the extra energy and support. You can also, um, I'll hold it up because it's e easier than doing it. I've, I've made me quite a few, but I've got um, diffuser bracelets and they always have some um, lava beads on it. There's lots of different kinds of diffuser jewelry, but mine have some lava beads on it that I can just put, I put a drop of white grapefruit on my finger and then I just rub them on the beads and then I've got the white grapefruit or whatever oil I put on, then I've got it just around me and I can, I can smell my wrist and it, and they're just cute and fun. So you can put it on diffuser jewelry and that is um, a good thing. So the, it's mainly um, limonene, but that means that it's highly um, purifying and cleansing. So I probably would not spray it on my counters just because it's a limited time oil and 
there's a lot of other oils that would do uh, the same thing for cleaning my counters, primarily the on guard cleaner concentrate, but it can be, that's something that you can use it for. You can um, use it in your room or um, bathroom for a freshening spray. You can put several drops of white fruit, fruit, bergamot, lavender, and your favorite fur oil into a spray bottle with water and then just mist um, the air and it will make your room smell good. You can put one to three drops of grapefruit, white grapefruit into water, lemonade, or tw um, tea for a twist um, in flavor and digestive benefits. You can include white grapefruit in your skincare routine by adding it to your favorite exfoliator or scrub, and it's just nourishing for your skin. You can add a few drops of white grapefruit to shampoo for added cleansing properties and a light, sweet scent. There again, I probably wouldn't do that just because it's a limited time oil and there's other oils you can add to your shampoo, but that is an option. Diffusing it with Douglas fir is, gives you a really refreshing, energizing, but also balancing and grounding atmosphere. So that can be, depending on your day, that can be a really good thing. Um, you can take it internally. If you take it internally, it promotes gastrointestinal health and digestion, and it supports a healthy metabolism. You can add it to your smoothies. You can just put a couple of drops underneath your tongue. It's great to use as part of your um, evening skincare, and it will help reduce the appearance of blemishes and encourage a healthy looking complexion. Um, you can also use it with uh, fractionated coconut oil for a soothing abdominal massage. There is, in the newsletter, there is a link that now will work to um, a series of Behind the Bottle. doTERRA has done a series of videos, and they're usually five minutes or less, that are behind the bottle, and it tells the story of how the white grapefruit oil is grown. It tells about the growers and it tells how they get it to the distillery and how they get it. So you know how and the effort that goes into us being able to have our little bottle of white grapefruit. So that link is in the newsletter. It is a citrus. So be careful if you're gonna be going out in the sun. Um, there is a possible skin sensitivity. Um, the, the general all the time um, precaution is if you're pregnant, nursing, um, or have other serious conditions, check with your doctor and never, ever, ever put oils in your eyes, in your ears, um, or other sensitive areas. So um, we've got... There's going to be several, well, in the newsletters, there's quite a few different recipes that um, you can get. And just watching Facebook pages, um, there will be a lot of recipes. There's also this, it takes, um, well, it, it asks what it takes to make a bottle, and usually it tells you how many grapefruits, but this one doesn't say. So I don't know, but there's 125 published studies on um, D-limonene and it works well with all of these different um, oils. And this graphic will be included in your handout that I sent to you. So serenity, the oil of tranquility. Um, I love serenity. And I use it. Um, I use it every every night. I'm either applying it or I've started diffusing it, and it has really helped my sleep. So emotionally, it's the oil of tran tranquility. It invites individuals to relinquish feelings of stress, anxiousness, and being overwhelmed. It can support those who struggle with an overactive mind and inability to unwind. Both Rebecca and I suffer that malady. So, and I'm, I'm sure that some of the rest of you do also. So it assists in quieting the mind, releasing agitation and inviting calm. 
It also um, encourages individuals to reconnect with themselves and discover the peace that lies within, and then to reconnect with the humanity of others. Um, it can bring a sense of tranquility that allows space for personal reflection, peace, and healing. So this would be another one. So this would be a good one to combine with white grapefruit if you are trying to evaluate, okay, what direction do I want my life going? Because the serenity calms your mind and the, the white grapefruit brings in, helps bring in the, the inspiration to help you figure those out. So you can see the list of the negative emotions and the positive properties that it will help with. Um, the ingredients, it has lavender, cedarwood, whole wood, marjoram, Roman chamomile, ylang ylang, vanilla bean absolute, vetiver, and Hawaiian sandal, sandalwood. So it's got a great blend of oils. So the, um, some of the ways to use it is, uh, sorry for my phone ringing still. And the way I, we've got our phone, I can't turn off the ringer with the phone that's right by here. So sorry about that. Um, it's really good for helping you relax and sleep. So it's great to diffuse. It is great to put it on the bottoms of your feet. I've got quite a few different recipes for um, blends that encourage sleep and help with sleep. Um, and most of them have serenity in it. It's great to calm a restless child or a fussy baby. Um, you can, if it's, if it's like a newborn, you can apply the serenity to um, you. Like I could just put some on my chest and then when I'm holding my new granddaughter that's going to be born within the next two weeks, then she will get just, you know, a little bit of it and that can be calming for, for babies. When um, I was in Fargo a couple of years ago helping care for some grandchildren and they were, it was a, a pretty uptight situation and they were having a really hard time sleeping. I started um, diffusing serenity and I'd start the diffuser, I don't know, 10 minutes before they went to bed. Boy, did it improve bedtime. So it really helped on that. It can quiet constant or ang angry, anxious thoughts that keep you up at night. It can create a restful, tranquil environment. Sometimes we need to have a tranquil environment during the day. It's not just when we're trying to go to sleep. But sometimes we need to have a tranquil environment during the day so we can either get things done, focus, ponder, you know, meditate, whatever. It's also really good if, if you are feeling, having feelings of stress and tension personally, um, serenity is great to put on or great to diffuse, but it's also if there's stress and tension in your home, then serenity is great to diffuse in your home. And it just, it helps everybody chill out some without the other individuals knowing it. I've talked to some people who have just started diffusing um, serenity during the day and or in the evening and they said, it's amazing what happens to my husband and he doesn't even know what I'm doing. So that's one of the sneaky things that you can do. It can help you melt away uptight emotions. Um, you can add it to some Epsom salts and then have a relaxing soak soaking bath. There are different recipes. doTERRA has a bunch on their website for bath salts that you can combine Epsom salts and baking soda. I think it's two parts Epsom salts to one part baking soda. And then I've got some recipes that have regular salt in it also. And just put a couple of drops into the Epsom salts and shake it around first and then put that into your bath water. Um, and it helps the the Epsom salts make it so that the oil will disperse throughout your bath and so that you can use it just to relax and calm down. Um, sometimes having family around is lots and lots of fun and it's just a great thing. Sometimes it can get to be a little bit 
um, intense. And sometimes it just gets to be a little bit chaotic. Um, I have loved it when we've got all nine grandchildren here, but there are nine grandchildren under the age of nine and most of them under the age of five. And it gets crazy. It's fun. I love having them here, but it gets crazy. And diffusing serenity would be a good thing to do in that situation. Um, if you are feel like you struggle with like really anger, feelings of anger or agitation or irritability, if you're just getting really annoyed really easily, put on or diffuse um, serenity. It, sleep is really vital and it's really good to get a sleep ritual. And one of the things that can help in that is using serenity. Um, cedar wood is good for that. That's one of the ingredients in it. Um, and just kind of have a routine that helps your body so that it knows, okay, now it's time to calm down and to go to sleep. So it blends well with lime, tea tree, citrus bliss, and spearmint. You can um, diffuse it. You can always put it on the back of your neck, the bottoms of your feet, on your forehead. I um, heard someone that, and I can't remember who, but someone said that they started putting serenity on the bottom of their big toe and they started sleeping like a baby. So if sleep is a, a problem, then do that. Um, and then diffuser jewelry and in a relaxing bath. So, oh, wait a minute. This is, um, I'm getting better at the technical things. I don't have it all smooth, but I'm getting better. So this is a handout that I'm going to um, send to you. It's got some, some other common uses. It's got some great diffuser blends, um, some serenity bath oil, a recipe for the bath oil, um, recipes for using. And then this link at the bottom is always good um, to, is always good to check it out and that will take you to where there is more um, information. So are there any questions that I can answer for you? You can unmute yourself and ask. I have a question, Elizabeth. Sure. Um, with the white grapefruit or even the regular grapefruit, I'm not supposed to have any type of grapefruit with, the with one of the medications I'm taking. Would that grapefruit. include this? Yes, you can use the, the grapefruit. The, um, and I've, I've got the same restriction. And um, th so this is a great question. Grapefruit, and they say not to have grapefruit and and, or drink grapefruit juice, because the thing that interferes with the medication is in the juice. The oil comes from the peel and the rind, so it does not interfere with the medications, and it is safe to use and will not mess up, mess up, mess up medications. And they've done, they've actually done a lot of research on that to double check it. So, I mean, I wouldn't drink the whole bottle at once, but I don't think you'd do that anyway. But using it you know, the couple of drops that we're talking about or diffusing it is absolutely fine and will not mess up your medication. Yeah, I quit 